So welcome back friends to another exciting video on the homestead. So as you guys know, I, uh, our family has made, made, a, uh, a, has made a decision to radically simplify our life. Uh, cut down all of the fat, cut off, uh, cut off all of the excess, all of the things that have become um, overcomplicated our life. And where I started was in my closet. I started with my clothing and it's really encouraging to hear that there's so many of you guys that are doing the same thing. I went through and I got serious about it and I got rid of probably 70% of, of all the clothing that I owned and I pared it down to the stuff that I wanted. I gave it away, gave it to friends, gave it to uh, the church, gave it to uh, whoever needed it. I didn't care. And that has made a tremendous, uh, a tremendous um, impact on my life. Yes, my shops are disorganized, my tools are disorganized, my vehicles are disorganized, you know, so many things going on. Couple that with all the unfinished projects, it's hard to be, it's hard to get a peace and relax around the home. And uh, I know a lot of you guys can relate. So I started in the bedroom, and the thing that's really nice is that uh, when I go in, in there in the evening, uh, at least there's one aspect of my life that is completely squared away. I know that everything is folded and put away. You guys have seen all the videos. So I'm extending that and beings now, or now that I'm recovering from my foot injury and I have, you know, I can't do all the things I want to do. It's kind of forced me to look inward and I'm going system by system and getting things sorted out. So today we're going to talk about batteries and this is going to be a, a continuing series of videos. We're going to, we're going to chunk off little things in our life that are chaotic and, and, out of control and, and we don't really have a handle on them and, and bringing us confusion and, and we're going to find a way to, to eliminate that. Uh, one of the guys in the comments said that, that it, you, you got to be careful that you can become a slave to your home. And I've thought about that a lot this week. That had a lot of impact on me that all of these projects and, and all of this stuff, you end up spending your whole weekends instead of going and doing things with your family and going and doing things fun and canoeing and fishing and hunting, um, all these projects and it just it wears you down, it wears you down. So we're all about simplifying. Before we get started here, uh, uh, my granddad was really good at this. He lived through the depression. They were Okies. If you've read the Steinbeck book, The Grapes of Wrath, they, they experienced that. And it had a profound impact on that generation and it definitely had a profound impact on him. So far as he didn't waste anything and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't really, uh, uh, he didn't go into excessive things. He had a pair of gloves. He knew where they were, they were good quality, he took care of them, he put them in their place. It was simple for him, he was never frustrated running around looking for his gloves. He had one baseball cap, it was hanging on the hook, he had routines, he had, uh, he had procedures, and he had peace in his house. You know, and I always thought he was a little overly simple and like, oh, you know, I always thought, you know, more should be better, all that. But now I started to see, you know what, he did, I think that was by design. I think he wanted to have, be free from uh, the attachments and, and the confusion and the chaos that so many of us, of us have in our lives. And I'm going back to that. So today we're going to talk about batteries a little bit. I'm going to show you, uh, expose a very, the dirty little secret that I think uh, many of you may not know about batteries, rechargeable batteries, as well as the very best storage system. So today's project is we are organizing and paring down and getting squared away our batteries. On batteries, all right, batteries. The, the, the prepared man needs to have, your, you need to have your batteries in order. You need to have batteries. There's so many things that run on them from our flashlights to radios to on and on and on. And for me, my battery situation was always a bit chaotic. There were some in the freezer, there were some in the junk drawer, there were some in my truck, there were some in an emergency kit somewhere, but I never really knew what I, where I, what I had. And what I'd, find, what I'd find is my wife would say, hey, do you have uh, a double A or do you have this? Uh, sometimes I didn't have it and I hadn't reordered them because I didn't know where I was at. So what's gonna be changing, and it's not only the batteries, is that we're gonna go system by system. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get a way that we can inventory stuff, that we can take a quick look at it and be done and not worry about it anymore and know when we need to re reorder. In addition to that, it's gonna be a, an economical, safe way to store the stuff where you're not gonna worry about lead and acid leaking out. Um, and I'll show you some tricks that are gonna save you a ton of money. So when I looked at my batteries, I got all my batteries together and all my devices and I made some hard decisions. Like if I had any freak weird stuff that took weird batteries, it's out of here. I'm paring it down to a very select type of battery. 
Primary, the number one, the bread and butter is going to be the rechargeable double A's. Um, yeah, I know they're not the most efficient, but they're ubiquitous, they are readily available, and I just like them. All my EDC flashlights and all those things, I've got, I'm getting rid of a lot of that stuff. Uh, that, whoops, that's the problem with this OLED, it's always on in my pocket, and going to the double A batteries. So, we've got double A's. Also, I'm not going to give up on the, on the big ones, the 18650s, because they're just so good for some of the larger weapons lights and the really, really bright flashlights. We have a, we live on a big piece of property and we'll hear the dogs will start barking and we have something far away, far away. This isn't going to get it done. We need to have a serious light and serious lights run out the 2650. So I am going to keep these in my system because they are really good. I'm also going to be keeping in my system the, the, um, the CR one, two threes. And the only reason that I'm keeping those is because of Surefire. I like Surefire lights, and that's the only one that I depend on for um, a, a bedside gun. Or, I, I know, there's a lot of arguments that people say, well, these are good and those are good. It has not been my experience. I've tried the cheaper, lesser lights, and they always just, they just, they don't work when you need them. And so CR123s are going to be in the system for that. I'm not going to use them for, for EDC lights. I'm not going to use them for shop lights. It's just for those dedicated lights. I'll change them out annually. And so we're going to keep those. Now, these are the old school here, you know, the D's and the C cells. Most, well, I don't, I can't speak for you, but for me, I don't hardly have anything that runs off of these anymore. And so I'm not going to keep them. And that's what's so cool about these Eneloop, these deals here. These are just little uh, receptacles. What you do, of course, you've all seen these, right? Is you drop it, they receive a double A. Well, of course, you know, they're not as powerful as a dedicated D battery, but they get you by in a pinch because it seems to me that I only need one in a pinch. You know, someone has a toy or maybe we have a, a strange clock that, that takes these things or some old fashioned stuff. It's good enough for me. I just rarely ever cross, come across them. And the same thing with the C batteries. I think the C batteries, the only thing that we have that runs off of those are maybe a clock or two. I slip a rechargeable and a loop, a double A in there and I'm good. So that, that way with these simple inserts, we can rule out, we don't have to stock and carry those old fashioned batteries. Okay. So storage, storage, I've come up to with two ways. I've tried lots of different things and I, I, you're going to love these. Have you seen these things? What this is, is that this is an ammo case, uh, made for the size that you want is the 500 Smith & Wesson, I believe. And I will put these battery cases in my Amazon store at wranglermart.com. It'll be linked down below where you can get them. And they're cheap. They're, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them in Midway. You can get them at Brownells. They're like 4 or $5. They're made in USA, and they are just awesome, awesome quality. If you look, a lot of those battery holders and storage deals you get, sometimes you get free ones with batteries. They have a, a, they don't have a proper hinge on there, and when you open and close them a few times, the hinge breaks off, and they're, they're terrible. These hold 50, and you can even get these that hold 100 batteries, and they hold them securely. Another thing I really like is that they're isolated, so they've got, we've got little dividers in there. These non-rechargeable, just your regular alkaline batteries, you'll always get one that wants to bleed or to bleed out uh, acid. And if the batteries are all touching, it jumps from battery to battery to battery, and you take batteries out of storage, you know, 10 years, they're saying you should be able to get for these, and half of them are all corroded. This way, if you do get one that's starting to corrode, it's going to be isolated in its own little container right there, and you're not going to spoil the whole lot. So you can get these in, in different sizes. So the, the perfect one is the AA for the 500 Smith & Wesson, and they're stackable. Did I mention that? So they've got little cleats on the bottom, so you can have them there, you can stack them, uh, and just you just wait. I have a storage deal coming. It's not here yet that we're going to put all of our, our stuff like this type of thing where we can open the gate. It's going to be secured, look inside, get a mental, mental inventory, have everything in one place so we can just get things, get a handle on things because there's just too much junk in our life. So the stackable aspect is nice. This one here is what I'm going to keep the triple A's in. These are triple A alkalines um, as well. And this is, I believe the 223 case for ammunition right there and if you tip them upside down 
they, they won't come out of their, their moorings there. Again, just like the big one, they're isolated and different colors. Also, also, you know, don't buy these things in the same colors. Get different colors because I color code all my batteries so at a glance I know what they are. The blue boxes are going to be double A. The translucent, you know, brown gray color is going to be triple A. My other way that I store batteries are these, these aviation deals. These were developed um, for, for pilots uh, to carry batteries on a plane securely in a way that they wouldn't bounce around and, and make contact and, and cause trouble. These are awesome too. I really, really like these and I use these for my rechargeables because I use rechargeable batteries a lot because of, of camera work. I, I, I use it on camera gear, I use the rechargeables on audio equipment. I am constantly dealing with batteries and rechargeable batteries and so I, this, is, this is the way that I carry them. Double A's are orange, nine volts. I don't use them too much anymore. The old microphones took nine volts but I will keep, uh, you know, maybe three of these nine volts for smoke detectors and things are gonna be yellow. CR123's are going to be red and so on so forth. So whatever batteries you need when you buy, if you buy these things, just make sure you get, a, get it standardized so that when you can look at them, you know. Whenever I see the, this in a pack or in my camera bag, I know that's a double A right there. Okay, now rechargeable versus alkaline. Same with these. These are gonna be, uh, these are, we don't need to cover that, y'all know that. All right, let's get to the dirty little secret. The dirty, dirty little secret is this. I have been doing photography for a long time, videography for a long time, and I have learned a thing or two about rechargeable batteries. And what I have found is that the best ones, without a doubt, the best ones, I don't care what anyone says, I've tried them all, are the Eneloop, the Black Pros. Problem with these things is that they are expensive. Very expensive. You can see that, I mean, it's, a, it's an investment to buy a set of pros like this, I justify buying the pros for me because it's 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 the tools of my trade. Uh, audio equipment's got to work, and if I'm down a, a long ways away from the shop, I have got to have batteries that can last long enough, and not I'm not going to lose audio. I can shoot all day, and if I don't have audio, everything is lost. The whole day is lost. So I have chosen to go with the pros. The next step down is the whites, and they're significantly less money. These are both in a loop. The pros are black. They have a little bit higher storage, and then these little guys here, the main ones, are the white ones. These are very good too, just not quite the capacity. But that brings us to the secret. The secret is, and I don't, I can't verify this 100%, but I am, I believe this with all my heart and soul, that Eneloop is making the Amazon Basics batteries and branding them under Amazon. Because when I have been using them, and they are identical in every way, I believe, seems to me, and I could be wrong, but I do believe that this battery, the Eneloop, and the Amazon are exactly the same thing, and these are a fraction of the price. Let's break down some what the difference is in as far as the value and the cost of these. Let's break it down. What's the value? Which which one do you want to get and why? Okay, so I we're going to talk about double A's here. I did the math for you, so you don't have to do it. Okay, I don't have a double A in a loop, but we're gonna pretend that that's one, or an Amazon right there. We're gonna pretend that. This is our, this, this is our price point right here. A pro, a double A pro, and this was at, as of an hour ago on Amazon, this battery costs $4. Yeah, that's a lot of money for a battery, $4. When you say one, two, three, four, five, six, there's 12 batteries, 12 times $4. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a big chunk of money right there. You might have to work all day to pay for that. Is that what you need? Is that what the common guy needs? No, I would say no. The difference between this one, the Pro, and the Standard in price, $4, $2.75. So it's pretty significant. What's the performance difference? Well, according to the manufacturer, these are 25, 2,500 milliamp hours for the Pro, and the standard white ones, the Eneloops, are 2,000. So it's not insignificant, but is it important? Is it important enough to justify that huge price difference? I say no, unless you're a professional. Unless you're a professional and you really need to get the most out of batteries, then yes, it may be. But for the common guy, no, I would say we roll these out four dollars a piece. Those are expensive. Two seventy-five. It's still kind of expensive, isn't it? But it gets better. Okay, so then let's take a look at the Amazon Basics. Now we're going to pretend this is a double A here. Stick with me. When we, I have been testing these together. I don't, ha, I don't have one right here. I just didn't grab the case. 
and I cannot tell any difference. Can I tell the difference between these two? Yep, I get a little bit longer time, maybe an extra hour on my microphone, hour and a half, and that to me makes it worth it. But if it weren't for that, I wouldn't look at them, they're too expensive. So both of these, the specs are 2,000 milliamp hours. What's the price difference? $2.75 each. How about for the Amazon Basics, $1.56? I believe it's the exact same battery. And when you get into the AAAs with these, these are just under, right at a dollar a piece, and the inner loops for the AAAs are $2.75. So you can essentially have of almost three to one of these, which I believe, in my opinion, are the same battery. So which one do you want to get? Well, you want to get the Amazon Basics. All right, there's one caveat though, and I don't, this isn't scientific, but I, I do have this gut feeling. They come in two colors. There's a black one and a white one. The price is the difference. If you go on and you look at the look at them, there's black or white. You know, it's hard to know. The white ones seem to last longer. I don't know. I don't know why, but get the white ones because I the black ones don't seem to last as long. It's just been my experience, and I use a ton a ton of these. So once you get your batteries, now you're set. You've got your AAA and your AA rechargeables, and you can run pretty much anything you want to want to do. You can run your big D's, you can run your C's, and 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 you're good. And you want the, and you want a charger too. So don't don't waste money on those fancy chargers. I bought those all of those chargers. I've got a, like I think I've got eight of these things. And the sweet thing about it, these are the Panasonic. And so Sanyo originally owned in a loop, I believe, or designed it, and the Panasonic bought it, so it's kind of the same company. These are the best chargers. And the cool thing about it is they have specials on all the time where you can buy the pack of battery and for just a couple dollars more, they throw in the charger. And what's cool about these chargers is they do both. And they charge individually. Some batteries, sometimes those chargers will charge like two at a time. These each have their own LED light, and if you just want to charge one at a time, you can do that. The cool part is you can also charge the, the AAAs in them. They go in there like that. So you can charge, and you can charge them at the same time. So you can mix and match, and these are great chargers. They've got the flip out plug, plug. They're easy to travel with, no cords, no nonsense. I've used them for years and years and years, and I've never ever had one go bad. They're just wonderful little chargers. So that is the system. That's the setup right there. Yeah. All right, let's wrap it up. So one final thought and a question that might come up. So why why the alkaline and the rechargeable? Well, life happens and sometimes you don't you forget to charge stuff. Uh, it's just been my experience. It doesn't happen very often. I'm, I'm pretty good about it. I have a good system, but sometimes I'll forget and I'm in an emergency um, and you need batteries and you need them now. Or someone comes and you need to to loan someone some or they need them for something, you don't want to send people with your, your good rechargeable batteries. It's just, it's not good sense. So I keep the alkalines as well. As well. Uh, the best deal I found on them, well, Amazon's really good or Costco. We buy batteries at Costco as well. So I do like to have those on hand. Now these little uh, shell cases, they, they come with the stickers for bullet and caliber and all that. Use these and write the date. You can write the date on there when the batteries were, were purchased and you can kind of cycle those and use them and keep track of it. So I, I'm, I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag, but I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this and it's really been changing my life for the better and minimizing, minimizing, minimizing. Just, Mrs. W, <laughs> Mrs. W and, and, and I have been doing this together and we're just getting, getting rid of stuff and we're going to pare things down and I'm going to know where things are at. I'm not going to have the frustration when I'm doing a project. Good grief, where's this? Or do I have screws? Or do I have these nails? It may take a year, it may take five years, but I'm gonna make sure, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna pare it down so I can go to one place and I can look and I can see, yep, either I have these or I don't. I literally, when I start a house project or a project like building a deck or, or putting the siding on the other day, was probably half of my time spent looking for stuff and frustration, you know, frustration with your family and, and blaming your, you know, did your kids move something or did your wife move something? And, and you know, it, the, and as you know, you did, you moved, the reason why you can't find it because you didn't put it away. You didn't have a place for it to go was the main thing and you just throw junk around. So we're gonna change all that. So start with your clothing, start with your master bedroom. And, and get a victory there. It's like, okay, get everything sorted and go through your stuff. And if you haven't worn something in a year, get rid of it. Give it to someone that can use it um, and just pare it down. Buy quality. 
um, instead of quantity. Go through your ball caps. You know, you got 50 ball caps and 14 pair of gloves. You know, all that stuff just complicates your life. Get rid of the stuff. Give it to someone who needs it and, and pare it down to one that you like and, and have a place for it. And when you're done with it, it gets put away. Um, it's, I think it's something, I think it's important. I think that life is so complicated now and there's so many things going on with work and, and everything that goes on and family and all of that. When our surroundings um, are complicating things and our surroundings uh, are, are unsettled and there's no peace there, it just, it makes life miserable. So let's get these little victories. You can follow along. Do your clothing, get your batteries in order. I got a really good one for ammunition. My ammunition's all over the place. I never really know what I wanted. We're gonna talk about that. How much should a guy have? Uh, what should a guy have? How to store it? Um, a lot to come. So let me know uh, how you're doing with this, if you're following along, and also uh, if there's some category of, of our life that you'd like to see me move on to next, you know, I can put that ahead of time, so let me know in the comments. But uh, a lot of fun stuff coming up as I'm convalescing with my foot. We're going to focus on this uh, organization, and um, I, I'm, I'm excited. I got a lot of stuff I'm excited to share with you guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.